Hello and welcome back to Sisters United. You are joined by Player One and Player Two. And welcome back to Cloud Strife Junior Junior Life Story with Cloud and Grandpa Cloud. In the last episode, Cloud got engaged to Aerith. He didn't get a promotion and he also... Oh no, that was the exact episode. Never mind that. So in this episode, we are going to crack all of his promotions and have the wedding because I have updated Aerith's church and made it a residential place so we're gonna have to move cloud in there potentially and grandpa cloud just so that they can be there for the wedding and then we'll move them back in so if you're enjoying it please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss another episode without further ado we're going to bash on into the strife family and if you were watching sephiroth's episode you'll know that Baby Grandpa Cloud has caused some turmoil and distress for Sephiroth. Like always. I did nothing wrong. Guided by the fate of Player Two. I did nothing wrong. Nothing. Oh. There you go. He doesn't hate him as much. So he Don't had. Me. He won. <laughs> Oh, Cloud's fitness is quite high, to be fair, and he's got... Oh, well, no, they should have the same skills, because we made them have it for a thingy. Down to Cloud. Get out. Go to your own bed. Get to your own bed. <laughs> this is my... I want to be in the green bed. The red one to get picked is getting lonely. Then invite your boyfriend over. I can have a boyfriend. Say yes. That's where we have left it off. Cloud has work today. So hopefully he'll gain a promotion. The old one. He's romantic, granddad, Sephiroth. Because he's oh, not no. in love with Spell. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Maybe this. Just put him that laugh or what? <laughs> but um, maybe, maybe that'll make Squall realise his mistake. Yes. I didn't realise they pull the plug out when they get out of the bath. He's back at the front! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sephiroth. <laughs> I keep hearing that noise and it's like... Ah, oh, now I can buy a new car. I don't know what point it is. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> There you go, so he's eating the cookies he bought from Zax. The cookies are nothing, yum. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, Cloud heard was a lot of fighting yesterday. And his granddad coming back with a bloody eyebrow. <laughs> you gonna tell me what happened? Yet? No. You got time in your wedding. Good bye. That cookie put his hunger up. Quite good. Oh, why? Oh, he's thinking of no. his first kiss. He's fucking back. Thank you, baby, baby, you have. So. I did put his hunger up. 
Look at you off to cloud. Can't go to work. Oh dear. Oh. Lovely. Oh, what happened? Oh. I mustn't have enjoyed that cookie. Clive's team takes a field trip to the local ballpark to watch a game. A well-deserved rest after a full week of war head disarming. Suddenly panic ensues as the announcer warns the crowd of an intermittent explosion. Somehow the wires for the gigantic television screen in the stadium become crossed with the wires for the natural cheese distributing machine. The whole stadium is going to blow sky high. The seconds are ticking down as Cloud assesses the situation. It looks grim. Cloud can order an evacuation or try to smell the wiring. What's the call? <gasps> Cloud knows deep down that he can save the day. He calls for some breathing room and orders his team to work on cl calming the crowd. Once Cloud takes a look at the natural television warhead, he notices that the power generated by the device can be contained. Cloud quickly builds a contaminating device with chewing gum, a seat from the stadium and a generous portions of duct tape, eliminating the threat. The city is delighted to discover the energy contained within the unit is enough to power the city for a month. Cloud receives a mechanical skill point. Huh? <laughs> Yes, but yes, so we need to visit the bar. Make sure he's friends and with them. everyone. Yeah, because I want him to invite all of them to the wedding, so we will be going out and visiting folk. Yeah. After he comes home from work. He will probably get a promotion. Sure. Hostage negotiator. When it comes to time to talk the bad guys out of something stupid, you're the sim they call. Keep working on charisma to handle these situations. Let's go to that over there. Oh. Two charisma. Cloudy do. Come get change and then we'll go. Ah, oh, can I not visit somebody? Oh, why not? Um, is it because Cloud's not home? Oh, I think it is. It's like you can't visit anyone unless everyone's home. Oh, so, okay. five. Well, while we wait then. He's like, I'll have to go get wedding invites out, Grandpa. Okay, you be careful now. You too. I'll be fine. Oh, wait, I'm he's... Nice he's people. coming with us. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you no fun. So many noises. <laughs> she doesn't find Cloud attractive whatsoever. But she doesn't find Cloud attractive whatsoever. But ah, uh, that's a disgusting human being. <laughs> Tell them all about the aliens. This is just so many people are high. Hi, I've been adopted. I've been having alien babies left, right, and center. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. I just... heard Reeve had a baby. Did you know that? You're in your way. Get it the way. In my way. The soldier cheer. <laughs> that looks like a cheerleader's cheer. Oh, <laughs> that you look lovely today. <laughs> oh, they're all appreciating Cloud. Just when he tries to talk to them, <laughs> it seems to me they get bored. <laughs> Off to the next household. Right, talk away, my children. <laughs> See? What the hell's happening there? 
Oh, Grandpa Cloud. Sorry. <laughs> Grandpa! A peacemaker! Let's get them home. I think you need a nappy, Grandpa. Again. Why? Why not? Because it has been just found us. Husband. You've been squall? Very big squall. Yeah. 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 To work on some of his skills in charisma and then we'll we'll move him out to that church so. yeah oh two guesses sephiroth sephiroth oh oh Clyde's pregnant must have been because of that mm. I'll do the the wedding the next day. My son, son. Why are you getting back? I think I'm pregnant, Granddad. That's your mommy. to the wedding venue. Uh, okay. I will see you there. Okay, are you sure you can wear your In your clothes? best suit. Uh, are you sure you can wear a suit? Good day, Grandad. Okay, so after a lot of trial and error, we have got Cloud ready for his wedding. Yes. So we no. just need to wait for Grandpa Cloud to come home and then I think we'll just go. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Another <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Right, well, he's waiting for his granddad to come home. I'm back. Now, I know I'm cheating, but we've had so many issues. But we're getting this wedding done. <laughs> if it's the last thing I do. So they're gonna go visit a lot. <sighs> Come on, Grandpa, it's time for the wedding. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm going to bed. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, God, so many people have died. Can I happened? Oh, you can only invite two at maximum. Sorry, wait. Aren't you getting married? I'm here. Okay, now. And where is Squall? 
Which one, old or young? There he is. I think that's it. Oh, um, oh, he doesn't know Angela Genesis, does he? Oh well, that one needs space. Hmm. That one needs space. Oh, it's <laughs> half a jar. And <laughs> um, I'll see if I can track them down because they might not come, but just to have quite a few at their wedding. Come on! Uh, did he serve it? Oh, he did. I could call Scott. Oh, he's Cross our fingers, cross our toes. I am recording, aren't I? Pause it. Right, window. You're fine. Here we go. Oh, look at how he came. <laughs> I'm just getting kicked in the stomach by the baby. Oh, did I miss it? <laughs> the, uh, so there we go Aerif is now married to Cloud I'm probably in her. At last! Yeah. I'm finally. Oh, that you will not escape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's had to. <laughs> oh, I, because he's a wee bit. Oh, I didn't like it. <laughs> He's like, you've got to do for me! <laughs> Sorry. But he was laughing at Cloud there. <laughs> oh, Cloud's got a new free product. So. There we go. And she wants to go on vacation. Yeah, I was going to see if they can maybe go on a honeymoon. And that's where I'll end up. Stuck! Baby Cloud! Was he checking your pants? Stupid check and set out! <laughs> Everyone's not doing Where's that? There. Right. You can dance with that. I'll get Cloud to dance with him as well. He won't, like, Oh. Yeah. Tell them to move to greet them. So, it's a shame they've all left so quickly, but it's probably because of the lateness. Hey, Bobby, do your grandchild? He doesn't like Sid. Uh, no. He wants to see you again. He's crying, Good luck here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my 
That's good. I like that. Actually, yeah, it is. It's like they both agreed to it. Oh my god, yes. But who was that? Who is he? He's unsavorly traveling. He comes along, I think, when they're upset. I take it I'll have to go home, won't I? Yeah. So we'll send them home and see if they could go on a honeymoon. That was stressful, but really, it was short and sweet, but it was really good. Mm -hmm. fun have fun your honeymoon club! Because I'll make sure to make plenty more! I'm coming! Come on, girl! Get in the mm. bed! Oh, they all come away us. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> but I'll see you here. Yeah, we'll... Oh, oh. Dress. Now, hopefully she'll register that she's got married to him and come. But it also lets you then maybe do something nice with Squall if you don't want to get married in the house. True, true. He does not like Marlene. Maybe because she didn't come to the wedding. Well, no, it's like they were slapping each other, remember? I think he tried to flirt with Sid. Oh, uh, no, I never saw that. Or something, it was something. I never saw that. But all I know is that Marlene did not like whatever he was doing. <laughs> and then she, she slapped him and then she slapped her back. No, I can't. Ah, there we go. I'll maybe just finish it off. He might not be able to though, because he's pregnant. Ah, but I'll maybe just wait till the baby's born and then end this episode It was in Apple. Nabble. I'd like to go on vacation. Maybe Saturday? And you want for three days, two nights? Mm-hmm. And we'll go to... Because he can afford it, you can't go to an expensive one. I thought they can maybe book a honeymoon. I can't remember if he can or not. But we'll pretend that's her honeymoon. Is she leaving me another lamp? I never get that. None of them. Sephiroth's never even seen her. How are you feeling? I feel good, but my feet are so sore. I can see they're like balloons. Grakwushka in the meantime, Pashnik. I'm more happy. I'm more happy. I'm Funny. I'm just sleeping in the chair. Is No pregnancy yet. Oh. But.
We'll see if it works. Got the power to cheat death. Because, <laughs> well, he's nearly dead. <laughs> So yes, that'll be where I end this episode off. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, we'll be back next time with Aerith starting her little flower shop and then when Cloud is off, he's not off, but he will be going on vacation regardless and having his baby in the next episode. So thank you for watching and we'll be back next time. Bye for now. Bye.